I'm going to teach you how to test inductors. So we're gonna see how to test and check SMT inductors and THT inductors. But first, let's answer some questions. What do SMT and THT inductors mean? What are the types of inductors? What are the symbols of inductors? Definition A surface mount device inductor SMT is a model of coil that has no leads. It may be mounted directly to the surface of the printed circuit board PCB. Its purpose is to store energy in a magnetic field when electric current flows through it. Types of inductors. Basically, there are many types of inductors. So we are gonna see and test this kind of inductors. So here we have the winding inductors. Okay, you can find this type of inductors in the desktop motherboard. Okay, as you can see, this is a THT or a true hole technology device. Here we have terminals that is inserted in the motherboard. For these two kinds of inductor, the stacked inductors and thin film inductor, these are ECMD inductor. We find usually this kind of inductors in the laptop motherboard and mobile phone motherboard. So basically these two symbols are for inductors. You can find this symbol or this symbol. So basic need to test the inductor you have to select the continuity option in the multimeter and test the inductor so you can put the red probe here and the black probe here or the black probe here and the red probe here no matter the position of the probes because the inductor is not polarized like electrolytic capacitor so now we're gonna see how to test smd inductors all types of SMT inductors, of course, using the multimeter. But first, let's take a look, as you can see here, to SMT inductors in the motherboards. As you can see, we have here many inductors. Always the reference for inductor is L. When you find L, the letter L in the motherboard means inductor or coil, as you can see here. Okay, we have L, as you can see means this is inductor okay so always l refer to inductor c for capacitor r for resistors etc here we have another kind of inductor we have here l2 basically this is an old inductor here we have a wire this is a winding it's clear here this is a wire a winding inside it over here we have other inductors in this motherboard as you can see, you can find big inductors or small inductors. And here we have a thin film inductors, as you can see, near to the power jack. Here we have other thin film inductors, as you can see. We have PL, as you can see, the reference. Basically, you can find many inductors in the motherboards because the inductor exists in every power supply in the motherboards so we're gonna use the multimeter of course we're gonna select the continuity option in the multimeter to test inductors so here as you can see this is a winding inductor basically we have here l this is a true hole technology inductor or a th inductor it has two terminals this is another kind of winding inductor this is a flat winding inductors near to the CPU circuit. So let's get started and let's begin with these three inductors as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to test many types of inductors in order to go deeper into understanding inductor testing. So let's begin with this, this one. Okay, so basically a good inductor is an, an inductor that gives in the multimeter a low resistance about zero ohm here we have zero zero three means zero ohm this is good 
Let's check this one also. As you can see, we have 003. This is all these three inductors are serviceable inductors. So if you find an open inductor, means bad, you should replace it. So here we have two inductors near to the CPU or to the processor. Basically, this is the CPU power supply. Here we have inductor with MOSFETs. Every inductor means a channel. Okay, so let's check these two inductors. So here we have zero ohm in the multimeter. This also we have a low resistance, means these two inductors are good. So here also we have another inductor. Let's check it. We should get a low resistance as you can see. Let's check the second one. Here we have zero zero two. These inductors also are good inductors. So let's check this thin film inductors in this motherboard also. Here we have a low resistance as you can see. So basically the inductors are not usually failed like MOSFETs and diodes. Okay, basically the inductors are a strong component. Here also we have, as you can see, two inductors near to the power junk, as you can see. So if there is any failed inductor here, the motherboard will be failed definitely. You will get a dead motherboard because these two inductors are in the input of the motherboard near to the power jack. As you can see, this is the power jack connector. Okay, this is a very important inductor. You should always pay attention to this type of inductor that you find near to the power jack. The same for this also near to the power jack. If this inductor is open, the power will not get to the motherboard and the motherboard will be a dead motherboard. So here we have a winding inductors. As you can see, basically we find this kind of inductors in the desktop motherboard with two terminals. This is a THT inductors or true hole technology inductors. It has two terminals. As you can see here in the back of the motherboard, we have two terminals or two leads that we gonna check right now so we should find a low resistance as you can see this is a good inductor here also we have a low resistance means good inductor okay okay so this so let's now check these inductors so let's begin with this first we have two terminals let's use the multimeter probe and check the resistance as you can see 007 or 8 so this is a low resistance means the inductor is good if you find that the inductor doesn't give to you any reading means the inductor is bad so let's check this also using the multimeter of course so we have 006 means the inductor is good so these two inductors is for the processor as you can see so over here we have other types of inductors this black inductors always the same working principle so here this is the 3 volt 5 volt power circuit so let's check again so we should get a low resistance as you can see in the multimeter okay always for this so the, those inductors are good so let's see other inductors so here, in the back of the motherboard, as you can see, we have SMD inductors, as you can see. The same, low resistance, means good. Those are capacitors, as you can see. As you can see. And this is inductor. Okay? We have 002, a very low resistance. This also is inductor, as you can see the low resistance in the multimeter over here we have other inductor as you can see so this is the way the method that you should use to test inductors you should just use the continuity option in the multimeter and for those this is ceramic capacitors so here we have another type of inductor, this blue inductor, as you can see, basically this contains four pins, okay, four pins or terminals, as you can see, we have here two, and we have other here, 
but all pins are connected together so this is inductor also so always in every circuit in the motherboard you will find inductors and capacitors okay and of course we use sometimes the inductors to detect the short circuit and over here we have this kind of inductor like a fuse near to the power jack as you can see so let's check it we should find a low resistance in the multimeter as you can see so the inductor is good